What is up guys, it's Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this multi-column section right here we just brought out and we're going to try to build something like this with it. It's a surf shop I'm owning myself and we're going to do a lot of customizations so we actually going to fit it to the whole vibe of the brand and I'd say we just jump right into it. First thing we want to be doing if you haven't done so already is heading on over to the Shopify app store get the section store app. It's a component library with over 150 fully customizable components and the app itself is completely free. All right, sweet. And after we've downloaded the app, we're gonna head back to the Shopify admin area, look for section store underneath app, click on explore sections, and then get the multi-columns section right here with the help of the search bar, just simply click on it. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free, but this is one of our premium sections. That means we're gonna charge you one time for it, $9. I think it's a pretty good deal if you look on developer costs and the fact that you don't need any code for yourself. So you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and money. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Head back to the home area after you successfully get the section, add it to your theme. In my case, it's the Dawn Lai theme and then you can happily open up the theme editor right here already done that as well that's the section you saw in the beginning of the video we're just gonna do a completely new one from scratch and we're gonna type in that says multi columns because that is how it's called and you're gonna end up with a default version which is gonna be looking like that and i'm gonna give you a quick example and how you can fill it with content so the first thing I want to be doing is actually adding the pictures so we have something visible which we can customize later on. Just gonna throw it all in there. One, two, three. And that is looking good to me. Perfect. Another thing I want to be doing straight away is getting rid of the sub headline i only want to have a headline right here that one is accessoires the next one is fins and the last one the serve one is contacts the boards perfect also gonna get rid of that because we don't need that you can also add links to the buttons right here. I'm gonna add it to a collection it's called the surfboard collection. So we're having that linked up already. Then the heading is called our collections. And the next thing we're gonna be doing is customizing everything basically. So a thing I wanna do as well right here is getting rid of that text. So we just have the collection right here. And then I wanna make the headline a bit smaller. Oh, I think it's 30 and the line head is fine as well. We can change the font as well, but I'm happy with how it looks right now. Also the sub headline is changeable where we can decide where the text is positioned. We can give it some more margin to the top, but I think that one is quite fine as how it looks like. We can make the gaps bigger between the collections also on mobile decide how many there are we can even add more so that is possible as well the border radius I'm gonna make it look a bit more like that and then we have the padding as well we can add towards the thing but I want to have it as little as possible and on the bottom I want to keep it like that and the horizontal one is also something I want to get down a little bit uh, column number size is something we can change but there are no numbers showing right now so we can either have numbers or pictures I can show you how it looks like but we want the pictures of course and some more customization stuff we can do in that whole thing so as you can see basically every little block here is customizable and I just want to skip a few things I want to make the picture a bit bigger what which I can do here maybe I'm gonna bring it to that so if we preview it in the actual version it's gonna look like that and i also want to make the corners of the image a bit rounded so it's actually fitting that thing right here 
and now we're gonna add all the colors to the whole thing so we want to have that in that color column heading color supposed to be in the same one as well then the the link background I want to have that in purple too and the number we don't even need that the background of that whole thing is supposed to be a light looking gray and the border we want to add as well but we gotta give it some thickness for that ah that's the top border all right sweet i think we can just save it up it's a light version of the one you saw in the beginning of the video you could see there's so many customizations you can do so at the end it's just up to you how much work and effort you want to put into it but yeah that's what we ended up right here and on that one i also added some background and the hover effect on the buttons but besides that it's pretty much the same and the link is working as well it's linking to the collection and that pretty much brings us to the end of the video i hope you guys found that useful and hopefully have some fun with the section and yeah peace out and have a good one